Ryan Trenchard Smith's Dead End Drive-In is an exploitation film that willingly draws comparisons to Mad Max and A Clockwork Orange in this trailer. The post-apocalyptic world it presents is highly stylized and extravagantly demolished in all the right ways. The film opens up and quickly gives the audience an understanding of how civilization has devolved before moving on to locking the main characters in a drive-in that shows nothing but exploitation films, some of which are films that Trenchard Smith had directed himself. The Aussie punks inside, called Car Boys, don't seem to mind, and the middle half is where the film slows down a bit. No one is concerned with getting out except for our leading man, Krabs, so there's not much action going on during the second act. But there is some political and social commentary laced throughout the film. The government is essentially using the drive-in as sort of a prison to keep all those Australian punks we love so much from 80s exploitation films from roaming the countryside and doing what they do best, terrorizing everyone. It's an awesome concept, but unfortunately, aside from a few brawls, most of the drive-ins that happen are pretty well behaved through much of the movie. Films like this are often ones that seem the most appropriate for a remake, but I'm not sure many could recreate the energy and fun on screen as well as Brian Trenchard Smith does. Although it's not a perfect film, the final act includes a great car chase set piece coordinated by legendary stunt performer Guy Norris, who had previously worked on The Road Warrior and most recently Fury Road. Norris also pulls off a stunt that, at the time, was a world record. Norris jumped a truck 163 feet through the air, which you can see here at the end of the trailer. If you're a fan of Australian cinema, Brian Trichard Smith's Dead End Drive-In is a flawed but significant piece of cinema history that is not only memorable, but a fun watch as well. Mm -hmm.